Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and today we have a bit of a mix of a video. Some of you may know that I moved um, quite recently, about two or three months ago, and so I have a new outdoor garden space. And I've been doing a couple of things to that space to kind of, I guess, spruce it up. It was really a blank canvas in a way that there was just plain lawn grass, a bit of a deck, and not much going on. There was two um, rose bushes on either corner of the back fence. But other than that, that's all that was happening. So over the last couple of, well, two or three months that we've been here, I've been putting in a bit of work to kind of liven it up a bit. My main aim with this garden is really to bring a lot of life back into this space. A lot of food for insects and um, birds, bats, whatever I can do to kind of increase the biodiversity value of this relatively small garden in a residential housing estate. So there's lots of very small gardens all around with varying layouts and plant species and stuff like that. So yeah. Some of you may have followed some of my outdoor gardening pursuits in the last two years from no dig beds to in my old place where I had so much space um, and really just experimenting with what type of outdoor gardening that I enjoy. Through that process, I found that I, I, I do many things in my life, in, in, like between my day job, which as an ecologist, to volunteering, to, um, you know, learning a new language, to, um, to YouTube, obviously, which takes a, a lot of my time as well, and, you know, enjoying life in between all of those things. And so really a focus on super organized, um, outdoor vegetable growing I've kind of found doesn't really suit my lifestyle at this stage of my life anyway. I enjoy growing vegetables and I enjoy um, eating them but I just have found that I struggle to keep up with the hyper organization of what growing food really entails. So in terms of growing food I'm trying to keep it to simple stuff that doesn't require a lot of work and just being super easy going with it. And if I get vegetables at the end of the growing season, then that's kind of a bonus for me, but I just enjoy growing food also. In terms of plants that I can't eat, I've been really trying to move away from non-native plants and ornamental species um, that are so common in our gardens. And that's for a couple of reasons. One of those is just, you know, in my job, I do a lot of work on proposed and future developments and I am around this all the time and I see land being taken up for new buildings and those buildings will have gardens and they'll have landscaping plans. And really, I've just felt that the stress on planting and um, maintaining our native species is just so important these days. And, and I love Irish native species. And so I've really tried to only from now on, at least, um, primarily buy native species to keep in my garden. Um, so that is in part what some of this video is. I bought a big group of native bare root trees from a place called Future Forests in Ireland. If you're here, I got them online. They also have a, an in-person shop somewhere in Cor in Cork uh, Garden Centre as well. And um, they stock huge amounts of native species. It's really, really exciting. And so I'm trying to build that up a bit. Um, because we are renting, I didn't want to plant these in the ground because I want to take them with us um, whenever we move next. So that's why they, I've put them in pots. And yeah, this outdoor vlog has been filmed over the beginning of March to now, which is kind of mid-May. I think it's the um, 14th of May today. So it's really over about two months and you might be able to see a little bit of how the garden has come to life. Obviously we're coming into summer anyway, so things are flowering and growing and it's fantastic. So um, 
just to tie that all together, the next couple of clips you're going to see is me gardening. It's it's time lapses. It's a kind of a chill video um, to show you what I've been up to outside, really. Um, and that's basically it. I also do want to make a little side note of the fact that I know I haven't been super consistent with uploads in the last while. There's been a lot going on. Um, I also, you know, I started this channel two years ago in the middle of the pandemic and so there's a lot more free time, right? And also in those two years, I've taken on a lot of things in my life that take a lot of time outside of my day job, which is usually not just five, nine to five, it's usually longer than that and it's nights as well. And so I've been struggling a little bit to find the balance of that with my life after the pandemic and how that fits into my life. You know, we can do so much more things. I can see, you know, people a lot more than I ha was before. Um, there's a lot more to do. So I'm trying to find a balance between enjoying my life and also spending my free time working on YouTube also. Um, so to those of you that are still here watching, I really appreciate you um, sticking by while I kind of figure this out. I do have quite a few videos coming up soon that have been filmed over two months. So they are, I'm still working and still editing and working towards them, but they're just taking a little bit longer to get out to you. Um, but I just want to say thank you and I appreciate your support. I see you. I see people subscribing regardless of whether I put out videos recently or not. So I just wanted to, I guess, address that, say something about it. Um, but uh, yeah, and the next couple of videos will be primarily focused on outdoors because that's what I've been doing the most of. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video of me. Um, beginning to transform this outdoor garden space.
So this is the current outdoor space that we are working with. We have our lovely little shed. We have things filling in quite a bit with some plants, but stuff is also kind of all over the place at the same time. These are my far too many sunflower seedlings, my strawberry tree, lovely native Irish species, my eucalyptus, which is non-native, but I've had for a while. We have some parsley and marigold seedlings, my strawberries, my lupin, which I'm so excited to see flower again this year. Um, lots of salad seedlings, rocket. My avocado, which is now outdoors again for the summer. Oxalis coming back to life. We have echinacea, my dahlias, borage seeds, nasturtium, my flowering lawn <laughs> um, with some daisies and some lovely speedwells giving some food for no mo may to all of our lovely pollinators and insects. So the native trees are doing well, some of them better than others. This is hazel, the leaves are coming in nice. I'm so excited to see these full this year. I think it will give some height to the garden and look really pretty. The spindle is only just starting to come back to life. And yeah, I think it will just, it will just fill in the space really, really nicely. This is ribward plantain, also letting that seed as well. My honeysuckles, which are absolutely exploding in growth at the moment. This grows super, super fast here. These are my peas, which you've seen me make. A little bit messy, but I've cleaned them up <laughs> later on that day, actually, and help them make sure they're growing upright. This is the rose bush that was here before, and I think the roses are red, so I'm excited to see that bloom. The wildflower area, which you will see in the next video, my um, bird food, which is going at an alarmingly fast rate, and these are my elderflowers as well, which are doing probably the best out of all the native trees. And these are some raspberries, hoping to get some fruit on these soon as well. My lovely oak trees just coming in, the cutest little leaves. This is my purple broccoli from last year that I let flower and just go wild. And these are my potatoes, which I've recently actually just filled in the bags a bit more to give the roots space. These are my bluebells in the shaded area as well as some native dog rose as well, which has beautiful, beautiful flowers and some dandelions and look being used by the bees our only native irish honeybee i hope that you've enjoyed this video if you're lucky enough to have an outdoor space i hope that you're getting to enjoy it enjoying some good quality time outdoors and with our favorite plants. So yeah, I will see you very soon in the next video.